Whether you're going to start streaming for an audience, you're going to go into a Zoom call, besides the keyboard, the mouse, the microphone, and the PC, you might need a webcam to show everyone what you look like. Let's ignore the fact that this is an empty case. I am recording on my iPhone right now, so let's get onto it. If we go to Amazon right now, we type webcam in the search, we're gonna see a bunch of generic webcams at random prices throughout the 50 to 60 price mark. But if we go to the staples of the webcam market, the Logitech C920X is at an absurd price, and the C922 as well. These were webcams that were $40 before the pandemic, and the new Razer Kayo is no different. It is very, very expensive. However, if we go into a little bit of a more advanced setup, a Camlick is $130, bucks, and then we have to think about the DSLR market, which is still a very, very expensive take on a webcam. However, there's another option we can take in going to a camera that has included software for streaming, like the Sony CV-1, which might be my next camera. And this right here is why you currently have the best webcam in your pocket right now. If you bought a smartphone in the past three years, there's no need to waste this $100 bill on a webcam. I'll show you how you can get great quality from your smartphone camera and translate that to a webcam for Zoom, streaming, and much more for free. So let's get onto it. First, we go to the App Store and we download iVCam. Don't worry, Android users, you can get this from the Google Store as well. I had an iPhone, which is why I'm showing it on the App Store right now. We download the app and then we go on to the next step, which is going to the e2esoft.com slash ivcam website. The app will prompt you to go here and we'll download the ivcam software for your PC. Now that we have this downloaded and set up, we still need to connect the phone to the PC, which is why we have to go to your iPhone screen or the Android screen. We need to find the ivcam app. We open the cam up and then we click play and connect it to the Ivy Cam software in your PC. And there you go. You can see we have it connected to the iPhone as a webcam. And right now we have Ivy Cam running at 640 by 4080 at 50 frames per second. As a webcam, you really don't need much. So this is just to get everything going. This is the free version of Ivy Cam. You can pay to get 1080p by 60 frames per second, but I think if you're gonna start streaming, this is all you need to have the perfect stream and I'll show you why right now. Over the past two months, I've streamed over 100 hours using my iPhone as a webcam through IvyCam, and I have a little bit of experience with it, so I can show you my stream right now with a clip and you can see how it looks like. Oh, fuck it, I got it! Yes! Yes, Noodle, I got you the kill! Yes! Someone clip that, please! Please clip that! Now having said that, let's look at the controls that Ivy Cam offers. You can control the exposure and the ISO. And with the paid version, you can also change all the way to 4K and 60 frames a second. So I think it's a great thing for the value. It's about $10 a year or around $30 if you want it for completely for free and permanent. Now, I do think that the free version is the best option for everyone. If you do want better quality for Zoom calls or streaming, you can get it as well. I'm going to show you right now how to add it to Streamlabs OBS, which is what I currently use for streaming. So we go to Streamlabs. This right here is what my stream scene looks like. So we go to this scene right here. We click add. We add a video capture device. And there we go. That's Ivy Cam right here. We add the source and we stretch it out to our heart's desire. If you want to get rid of this little watermark right here, you type Alt and then you move it right here. And that's it. That's Ivy Cam for streaming. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be posting more videos soon like this. I need to post a lot more videos. So I'll see you soon and give me a like if you liked it. Bye.